This is section 11.2, part G, using chi-square test wisely. Both the chi-square test for homogeneity and the chi-square test for association slash independence start with a two-way table of observed counts. They even calculate the test statistic, degrees of freedom, and p-value in the same way. The questions that these two tests answer are different, however. A chi-square test for homogeneity tests whether the distribution of categorical variable is the same for each of several populations or treatments. The chi-square test for association or independence tests whether two categorical variables are associated in the same population of interest. Unfortunately, it's quite common to see questions asking about association when a test of homogeneity applies, and a question asking about difference between proportions of the distribution of a variable when a test for association applies. Sometimes people avoid the distinction altogether and pose questions about the relationship between the two variables. Instead of focusing on the question asked, it's much easier to look at how the data were processed. If the data from two or more independent random samples or treatments in a randomized experiment, then do the chi-square test for homogeneity. If the data comes from a single random sample with individuals classified according to two categorical variables, use a chi-square test for association or independence. Are men and women equally likely to suffer lingering fear from watching scary movies as children? Researchers asked a sample of 117 college students to write narrative accounts of their experience to scary movies before the age of 13. More than one-fourth of the students said that some of the fright symptoms are still present when they are awake. The following table breaks down these results by gender. So we have male and female participants and if they had fright symptoms. The Minitab output for chi-square tests using these data are provided below. So assume the conditions for forming inference are met. Explain why a chi-test for association and independence and not a chi-square test for homogeneity should be used. So these data were produced using a single random sample of college students who were then classified by gender and whether or not they had lingering fright symptoms. The chi-square test for homogeneity requires two independent random samples for each population, so this should be a chi-square test for association or independence. Researchers decided to use the null hypothesis of gender and ongoing fright symptoms are independent in the population of interest. State the correct alternative hypothesis. The alternative hypothesis would then be that gender and ongoing fright symptoms are not independent in the population of interest. Which cell contributes most to the chi-square test? In what way does this cell differ from the null what the null hypothesis suggests? So if we look at the output, And we look at number one is, yes, they have fright symptoms. Number two is that they don't. These are the values that contribute to the chi-square statistic. And as we can see, men who say, say that they do still have fright symptoms are the largest value for our chi-square test. The chi-square test itself is only 4.028 and men who still have fright symptoms is 1.883 of those. So men who admit to having lingering fright symptoms account for the largest component of the chi-square statistic. Far fewer men in the sample admitted to fright symptoms than what was expected by the null hypothesis. Interpret the p-value in context. What conclusion would you draw at the alpha equals 0 0.01 level? So we have a p-value of 0 0.045. So if gender and ongoing fright symptoms really are independent in the population of interest, 
the probability of obtaining a random sample of 117 students that gives a chi-score statistic of 4.028 of higher than 0.045 or about 4.5%. At the alpha equals 0 0.01 significance level, we would fail to reject the null hypothesis because the p-value is greater than 0 0.01. We lack evidence to conclude that the gender and freight symptoms are not independent in the population of interest.